Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I'm going to show you how you can use configuration file and environment variables inside your fast API. So let's get straight to the video. So I'm going to make an app.py file or an application file inside my fast API folder right here. I'm going to name it something like um, environment or something like environ.py and we can start working with our application. All right, so this is going to be a very simple application right now. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I will define some configurations for my uh, file itself. So I'm going to name it something like conf file. So that's going to be conf.py. And for the configuration file, I will just uh, now configure my actual configurations here. Before that, I can also define my environment file. So I already have an environment file right here, which have my two secret variables so these are very secret variables should not be shown publicly to anybody but it is stored inside a dot env file here so the first variable is database url which is just the local base uh local users database and then i have a secret key here which is something like super secret key one two three so i have to pass these secretly to my fast api so how we can do that is first of all i can use my configuration file here so for configuration file here i can use um what i can use is i can use a new module which is pydantic settings so for that you need to install that uh, you need to install it using pip so you can install that using pip install pydantic settings and we can start working with that all right so for that you can have from pydantic settings and this is going to be pydantic settings what we're going to have is just import the base settings right here all right now moving forward we can import the basic dot env module of our python and we're going to have load dot env function from that to load our env file inside our python file i can also import the import os here and now i can just simply run the load dot env function here to load all my environment variables present inside my dot env file inside this file so now moving forward we can define a settings class here and the settings class can be derived from the base settings itself so for the base settings first of all what we can have here is database url which is going to be database url and there's going to be a string so this is going to be what is os.get env basically how you normally work with a dot env file and that's going to be database url all right so this is going to get the database url key from my dot env file similarly i can get the secret key as well which is going to be secret key and it is going to be the secret key key for my dot env file as well all right perfect and now we can just simply define a an uh, instance for this object so that's going to be settings here and that's it now we can import these settings inside other files and just simply use settings.database url and settings.secret key to basically access these files here or to basically access these variables inside that file so i'm just going to make a very simple fast api here just to demonstrate the purpose of uh, configuration and dot env files right here so from the conf file what we're going to have is basically the settings here and the settings i'm, I'm going to define the app first of all which is going to be this and first of all i'll show you how does that work so first of all i can uh show you how settings dot database url looks so settings dot database url should return us what it should return us basically the os dot get env database dot url right here yes perfect so this basically creates two layers between uh sorry for that Cut. So this basically creates two layers between the dot env and your main application, fast application. So this is very secure and should be a good practice inside your production environments. All right. So let's just build a simple root function. So this is going to return what? It's going to return two variables. So first of all, it's going to return db URL. This should not be done anytime, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes to display it just in the response itself. So I'm just going to run this file. So I'm going to run this using Uvicorn environ app reload. All right. So as you can see, my uh, application has startup. And as you can see, inside my environ.py, I had printed settings.database URL right here. And this had 
been exactly printed right here so that means we are able to access our environment variable using configuration files and uh, .env files itself so i'll just show you how does um, this look like and i'm just gonna go to the root url here and as you can see we have got the two uh, the two variables inside the response which is db url which is exactly the same url we had set up inside our env file and we had also got the secret key which, which is the exactly exact secret key which we have set up inside our env file so that's great we have actually learned how you can work with env and configuration files for basically handling secrets inside our fast api so that's it for the video guys and thanks for watching